One year on from when the Greek government suddenly shut down state broadcaster ERT, former employees have held a protest rally. Hundreds gathered outside their old workplace, which now houses NERIT, which is short for the new Greek radio, internet and television service. Many journalists are still bitter and jobless. What still remains one year after the closure of ERT is the demand not only from us former workers but also from the people for free and factual news broadcasting. From a small office nearby, some journalists are still broadcasting their own self-run service called ERT Open. It's only available on the internet but they see it as an act of defiance. ERT's former director of technical services says we feel proud because we decided to fight against the coup that took place on June the 11th. One year after, we're still here. Moreover, we believe we've shown there is another way. Opposition politicians, including Syriza's Alexis Zipra, see the shutdown of ERT as an attack on democracy by the government, which was nearly brought down by the affair. Tsipras has promised to reopen it should he get into power. Our correspondent says the former ERT building is now where Neret is based, but the self-run ERT Open is also broadcasting. This division of the workers is perhaps one of the gravest consequences of the sudden closure.